Welcome back to Gamesmaster, and we are quite literally in a... We're about to start our Grand Footy Final. Let's go for the Gamesmaster for a final tip type situation. What? Oh, hello. What are you waiting for? Get on with it. OK, so please welcome our two finalists, not only competing for Cup Final Glory, but also getting the chance, more importantly, to shake my hand once again, Chris Armstrong and Richard Rufus. Welcome back, Chris. Welcome back, Richard. Now, Chris, it was only last week uh, that we saw you. A very tight game against our very own Rick Henderson. Edged them out 1-0 with a beautiful lob. What kind of game are we going to see from you tonight? I think more of the same. A uh, bit defensive. Just keep it tight at the back and hopefully hit them on the break. Um, you know, one goal, one nil will be enough. All right, then, Richard. Now, uh, in your game, it went to penalties against Michael Dubry. You edged them out there 4-3. Are you going to be playing for a draw and hoping to rely on your temperament under pressure again? No, this time I'm going to go for it straight off and look, looking to get a good result and hopefully beat Chris. OK, Chris and Richard, would you like to assume your game's playing positions? And I'll go up to the commentary box. OK, he's older, he's wiser, he's more experienced, but he doesn't quite have that Scottish lilt that women find so attractive. <laughs> Jim Rosenthal, <laughs> co-commentating on the final with me. Jim, now you've seen both the previous semis, who would you pick as your favourite? I think Richard has showed fantastic temperament in that mm -hmm. penalty shootout and his team came from behind in his game. Chris, plenty of flair, but he's missed so many chances, isn't he? So just narrowly, I might just go with Richard's temperament in the final. OK, let's go to kick-off. OK, yes, Richard Rivers in the hole and changed it, of course, to avoid that clash with the Brazilian goal. This Brazil, Chris Armstrong on the attack first, Jim. Will he try a chip here or will he blast? It's a great chance. He's turned away. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. Uh, he might be trying to get the it's distance It's real right. arrogance. Well, he might have been trying to get the distance right for that chip there, Jim. But what a very unusual piece of play to turn away <laughs> and do a figure of eight and try a chip from there. <laughs> it was the Tobel and Dean school of attacking there. But now... Oh! Oh, goodness! Richard Rufus, as you were wittering there a bit, he was in the penalty area, which I is was... the first rule you learn. Don't talk when they're in the penalty area, I but there we are. I was just trying to make sure that I said goodness and not something <laughs> else there, Jim. OK, well, Richard Rufus on the attack. No, it's not, because he's been dispossessed. There's no Brazil on the attack. Well, they're giving the ball away, aren't they? Like, like a present to each other. But um, uh, Holland going back towards his own goal, and a lovely little clearance in that one by Richard. Very neat piece of play, and I think they're going to play the neat passing game here of the Dutch, and they're in on goal. This He's in on good. goal. What a great chance this is for Richard. What's he going to do with it? Is he going to score? Oh, yes! Oh, he was so calm there, Jim, wasn't he? Just bided his time, literally took it around the keeper almost. This is a great piece of individual play by Richard. Definitely the best goal we've seen in the competition. OK, so Chris playing catch-up, playing Brazil, playing up the pitch now. We want to see Chris pulling out, but he's going to have to get into position to try those little chips of his, Jim. Well, he's going to... I think, actually, he'll be better off taking route one to goal and try and drill a few, because... The, the goalkeeper was right, I was boxer. That yeah. was a very headstrong keeper there, a bit grobbler-ish. But it worked. And as I was saying, I think Chris should really try and fire a few shots on goal, as opposed to those dramatic and romantic chips that haven't really worked for him so far in this final. OK, here he comes again. He is in the Dutch box. He goes for it, but it's no problem for the keeper there, Jim. Well, he drilled that one, didn't he? But this keeper, this Dutch keeper, has been playing superbly. So it's Holland. It's a long ball up there. They're going for route one, Jim. Yeah, not like Holland that one, really, but lumping up the field and it's coming to, to nothing. And here oh, come the Brazilians. It's a clear run on goal, ball. is it? It's a clear run on goal for the Brazilians and a great equalising chance here. He's gone for the chip again. Oh, it's just in the crossbar. Now, that's the closest Chris Armstrong's got so far, Jim. He was in position, finally, for the chip. Chips with everything. <laughs> and now it's Holland. It's Richard Rivers on the attack. Is Chris going to be punished on the counter-attack? Now he goes for the shot. It's in there! He's caught. It's the sucker punch. 2-0 to Richard Rivers. A great breakaway goal, Jim. A wonderful breakaway goal. And Richard really rubbing the salt in there. OK, now it's there. Uh, we have gone about two-thirds through the time. Chris Armstrong has really got to pull something out of the bag here. He's had a couple of shots, but nothing remotely close to piercing the onion bag, Jim. No, absolutely not. And it's a, a bit of a decision to be made by Richard as he attacks and goes for the third goal that would kill this final off, surely. A great opportunity. Oh, and he's done it. You've got to 
Could the keeper have fallen there, Jeff? It seemed to go right through his hands. Well, I'm not sure. It was one-on-one, -on -one, though, wasn't it? And the goalkeeper left dreadfully exposed. And Holland really running away with this final. And would you believe it? The Brazilians absolutely nowhere. No defenders there at all, Dominic. And that's 3-0. And this final is over. We need a goal now from Chris Armstrong, Jim. Well, I think they deserve a goal because they've had a lot of great attacking opportunities. And will they get a consolation score He's here? Oh, that's from the outside of the boot there. A lovely little curving shot, but it wasn't good enough to beat the keeper. It's gone out for a corner, though. Here it comes a high ball into the box. They come up for it. Oh, great save, but he missed the replay. Chris Armstrong pulls one back, 3-1. Are we going to see a fight back here now, Jim? Well, you can never ride off the Brazilians, can you? And they deserved it. They got it from a set piece. Good piece of play inside the penalty area. Got the luck from the rebound and smashed it in for 3-1. OK, then. Time-wise, we are literally in the last couple of minutes, though. The very last seconds taken away there. That's it. The referee has blown his whistle. That's the end of the Games Master Football Tournament Final. A great game. Uh, Richard Rivers winning 3-1. Well, uh, congratulations, Richard. I'll, I'll start with you, though, Chris. You had a lot of shots on goal, yeah. but they weren't <clears throat> really going anywhere. Why was that? What was happening? I don't know. Uh, not too happy with my team's performance. Um, I think it's more okay. Maybe you personally leaving your shooting boots at home. I think I'd like to see the set of forward tested, to tell yeah. the truth. <laughs> it was, uh, was a bit strange, but the one goal that you did get was, it was a bit of a cracker, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't bad. I've been working on the, the lobs earlier on and I've been working in training, but. Mm -hmm. Just didn't come off today. Well, yours did, Richard. Out of all your three goals, which would be the pick of them? I think it'll have to be the chip, of course. It got me into the final and I scored again in the final, so it'll have to be the chip. OK, and uh, finally, over to Mr Jim Rosenthal. You have betted on the game. Did it live up to its expectations? It, it did. Um, I normally can't tip rubbish, but uh, we tipped Richard before the final, and he gave Chris, I'd have to say, a lesson in finishing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr Rosenthal, I can't thank you enough. It's been an honour to, be, to be commentating with you, sir. Chris, thank you very much for coming on. But the real thanks must go to the 1996-97 season Games Master Football Tournament winner, Mr. Richard Rufus! <laughs>...trundles off empty-handed, but Richard Rufus trundles back to Charlton. Let's have a look at today's feature. 